dome's almost done. Uh, all we got left to do now is fill the hay bed uh, with some sand, uh, ready for the potting mix and ready for the uh, passion fruit, which we're going to put in here. So we can see on this side here, we've already put in the, uh, the sand. And I gave it a good hose as well too to level it all down. Um, that's going to be ready now for the potting mix, which we'll uh, try to chuck in tomorrow. You can see I put in all the um, the ties. These are just the little tie wires that are used for uh, tying your concrete formwork together, or your concrete rio mesh and whatnot, sorry. Um, and that's what we just used on this. So the structure itself, all the pressure is pushing outwards against the fence and the same against on this one here. Now that um, gal fence panel is fixed in and that's fixed in quite secure with these X heads here. And they go right through the actual meat of this um, uh, treated pine sleeper that you can see here. So all in all that's, that's quite a sturdy uh, little uh, tunnel. This is the, the passion tunnel. I'm going to call it and hopefully if I grow some passion fruits and they land there maybe my wife can give me a bit of a passion here as well too. Uh, fingers crossed. So it's day two of doing the um, the passion fruit uh, tunnel, and we've now got to the stage where we want to try to fill up these garner beds. So I put in a little bit of the the sand that's around the area. So we've got a neighbour who's actually dug out a pool, and that's the sand that's basically under all our um, our houses around this area here. So it's quite a free draining style soil. It's it's loamy, it's sandy, but it's good. So what we're going to use now is, is fresh from the um, raw material supply place here is a beautiful um, grade garden mix or a potting mix. So this stuff here is obviously, you can see it's got that lovely dark texture. Um, we're going to use that now to fill up the balance of our raised garden beds. And then we're going to be ready to plant our uh, passion fruits inside the passion tunnel and you can see it just there I'm proud as punch of it uh, I've got most of that material there as either recycled material that I had left over from my house um, or stuff that my neighbors had uh, lying around from their renovation so all this trench mesh here is a, pro a product that um, that I've actually salvaged uh, it's not something that I've uh, paid for to use the um, the galvanized fence is left over from a renovation um, and I, I picked that up and kept it because I was going to use it for a dog kennel uh, once upon a time but lo and behold we're now using it for our um, our uh, garden trellis so let's get into it and uh, we'll start to fill up these garden beds So you can see here now that we filled up the um, well, we filled up one of the raised garden beds. We put in our beautiful here, our our garden mix, our potting mix. Now you might think, why did you fill it so high? Well, don't forget I put in the um, the hay bales. So with the hay bales, obviously they're going to break down at some stage. So once I plant in the passion fruits, you know that level there is actually going to start to drop as the hay bales start to decompose. So we're gonna fill it up a little bit higher. Um, and then from there, you know, as it decomposes down, it should settle into um, a decent height. But by that stage, hopefully the passion fruit has grabbed the hold of the mesh as it needs, and we'll just top up the soil around the roots as uh, as we see fit. But that's a that's a good bed there of, of the planter mix. And underneath that is a good three or four inches of um, the the drainage or the soil that's around our area 
So um, there's a plenty of uh, plenty of depth for the um, passion fruits to be able to work with, and there's a lot of good nutrients in this soil here. But we're going to put in um, sugarcane mulch on top um, as well too, just to protect the soil from uh, the harsh sun that we get up in this area. So um, let's get into that, and I'll show you the finished product as we go. set up here on this side I'm going to be planting Panama Gold and on the reverse side of the Panama River. And that's the um, passion fruit trellis done. If you have any suggestions on uh, what you'd like to see on the next video, you can more than welcome to leave a comment uh, down below. What I'd love to know is in this section here, along there, if anyone has any suggestions on um, any other uh, fruit or plant that they would like to see planted there, or something that maybe I don't know about that would grow quite well, um, it is a it's a very deep garden bed, and I hate to see that space go to waste. You got the front section of this um, this garden bed here for the passion fruits. So if anyone's got any suggestions on what might grow well in this area, it does get a lot of sunlight, then please feel free to uh, leave a comment uh, down below. Um, and that's really going to be it for this video here. So just to see the um, the trellis there, hopefully one day soon you'll be able to see that area there with all its green growth all around the top. And um, like I mentioned earlier, if we're lucky enough to get a passion fruit right there, I might try to use it as a mistletoe for me and my wife. And maybe I can get a little cheeky pash out of it as well too. So guys, thank you very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, see you on the next build. Cheers.